my name is Jane. I'd like to welcome you to the Hugh Lane Gallery today. Here we'll see a wonderful collection of paintings and sculptures dating from the mid 19th century right up until today. How are you, Jane? I'm Lionel. Nice to meet you. I live here at the Hugh Lane Gallery. Maybe your friends can find me on their next visit. Can you tell us where the Hugh Lane Gallery is? Oh, hello, Lionel. So the gallery is located at the top of O'Connell Street on Parnell Square North, just opposite from the Garden of Remembrance. It's such a wonderful building. Here's the outside of it so you can see what it looks like. Come with me and we'll take a look. What a gorgeous building. Who is Hugh Lane anyway? Well, Hugh Lane was an art dealer and a collector, born in Cork in 1875. Here you'll see a portrait we have of him in the gallery by John Singer Sargent. Hugh Lane began his career as a painting restorer and he was passionate about art and he wanted to share that passion with the Irish people. He believed that Irish and international artists should be shown together in a modern art gallery right here in Dublin. Isn't that great? Amazing! What kind of artwork can we see there? Hugh Lane travelled a lot in France and he collected artwork by Manet, Degas, Renoir. He mostly collected artworks by Impressionist artists. Impressionist artists worked outdoors, so the weather might change very quickly, so they had to work very quickly. Edgar Degas is a very famous artist. Here is a painting by him named Beach Scene. Hugh Lane had loads of friends, and together with these friends and the help of his aunt, Lady Augusta Gregory, the Municipal Gallery of Modern Art was established in 1908. He donated around 100 paintings to this new gallery. There's lots to discover. That's why it's a fantastic place to wander and wonder. There are paintings, there's sculptures, neon, stained glass room. There's even an artist studio. Let's go there now and take a look. That sounds cool. Whose studio is it? This is the studio of Francis Bacon. He was a famous painter from the 20th century. Do you know what a studio was for? Let's take a closer look and see if we can find any clues. What can you see? There are paintbrushes, paint, lots of books, and a bit of a mess. Maybe now we can guess what a studio was for. That's right, it's where Francis Bacon made his paintings. There's one more special exhibit here at the gallery that I want to show you. In this beautiful stained glass window, designed and created by Harry Clark. In it, he tells the story of the Eve of St. Agnes. As well as telling us the story of the love between Porphyro and Madeline, he decided to fill it with lots of ornamentation and decoration. Notice how the light shimmers throughout the whole stained glass window. It really is a special work of art. Unfortunately, Hugh Lane did not live to see his gallery permanently located. He died tragically on board of the Lusitania in 1915, when it was torpedoed off the west coast of Cork. But today his legacy lives on through all of the wonderful artworks that you can see here in the gallery. Please come and visit as soon as you can. All of these artworks are much more exciting in real life.